Alright, so this is an old hand operated hand crank drill press that I, uh, it's been sitting in my parents, uh, what do you call it, the pump house uh, forever. Don't know where it came from, don't know how it got there. But, you can see Buffalo Forge Company, Buffalo, New York, and on the other side, it's uh, number 151. That's hard to read. Anyway, so I looked it up. Made early 1900s. Um, I found it in a catalog for 1909. So at least it was available that year. I don't know what, how long it went for or how early they started making it. But anyways, I think what I'm going to do is just uh, clean it up. Maybe I can get it spinning again. It's pretty well froze up and uh, I'm just getting it look good and hanging on a wall somewhere just uh, I think it'll look neat I think it's cool old school mechanical engineering so I'm gonna display it somewhere obviously the woods completely rotten I'm guessing these might be the original bolts that held it on the wall somewhere because I usually don't see the square heads like that so, I'll see nothing, nothing left of the wood. But anyways, I think I'll start with just a hose and soap and brush and see if we can knock a lot of this dirt off. See if I can get this board off of here. days later I think I've been spending a little time here a little time there 
in between other things, but I've got that one to move, and I, I would believe that I should move the whole shaft up and down. So I got that to move, and I got this to move that much. Looks like obviously this one is moving, that one is moving, that one is moving, and that one is moving. That one just barely twitches because all it's moving is it's got like a keyway into this shaft. So I believe this whole shaft should turn. So this shaft turns, that turns, that doesn't. That's part of the frame. And then that turns, I'm guessing. So I think still what's stuck is the shaft in here and in here. That's my only two spots I just can't seem to break loose. So, not giving up yet, but uh, I'm going to keep putting heat on it and then some uh, penetrating oil and more heat and penetrating oil and working it and maybe it'll give in. Alright, well, I've tried heat, I've tried penetrating oil, I've tried WD, I've tried brute force, I've tried everything I can, but for now, anyways, I'm just, for now, I'm, well, for now I'm just gonna throw in the towel on this one. Uh, I'm gonna hang it on the wall and look at it until I decide to spend some more time on it later. Alright, well, I may have given up on getting it to spin again, but it'll look good on my little corner of antiques here. I do get a little movement out of it. I got, you can move this gear a little bit, and that'll turn up there, but it's bound up somewhere either in here or in here, or I'm sorry, no, this, yeah, this section. See that this section, this turns with the wheel. This section and this section. Somewhere in there it's bound up. And uh, maybe someday I'll get back to it. Otherwise it'll just look good on the wall. And that's about good enough. 